19. The New York State Department of Health announced today that nursing homes can resume limited visitation. Christian Garzon in downtown Rochester at Rochester Presbyterian Nursing Home. Now, Christian, it's next week at some point, right? It is, Adam. On July 15th is when that happens. And uh, the state health department just put out a number of guidelines really just hours ago. Needless to say, homes and families across the region are celebrating this step to returning to normal. I'm worried that if it goes on too much longer, what am I going to walk in and see? Is my dad going to remember me? Tammy O'Brien's father has dementia and is in a nursing home. Tammy says family connection means everything for those in these facilities. Nearly four months apart has been painful for all. Just knowing what he's going through every day, hearing his voice and how he's telling me he's losing his mind and no family there, how sad and the decline, his memory loss has gone so far downhill. Announced today, New York will allow visitors to see their families in nursing homes, but there are four pages of conditions facilities have to follow. Here's a breakdown. Homes must be COVID free for a minimum of 28 days. Visits should be limited to outdoor areas, weather permitting, but under certain circumstances, visits can be inside and all visitors will face a health screening. Rebecca Ponteray with Rochester Presbyterian says the guidelines are what they've been expecting and hope to be ready come July 15th. Our leadership team still needs to come back together, though certainly we've been talking about it. What would our next steps be? Yeah. Um, is what's going to make sense now? Not only for our population, but for each of our family members whose circumstances are individual. The president of the New York State Health Facilities Association, which represents more than 400 homes across New York, says, quote, we applaud Governor Cuomo and Commissioner Zucker for opening up nursing homes to visitation. The policies announced today safeguard residents, staff, and visitors. For Tammy, she says she hopes next week is a solid start that moves forward. We're all just praying, you know, the first step is good, but you know, if we can keep that going and get back to where we were.